in Hawaii and you can start by kneeling in the front of your mat or in the middle of your mat and simply just looking down to your knees looking up to the sky and again down and up just very simple neck stretches and we're gonna take your right hand and then just lean it your head to the right side and then taking the opposite and just simply pushing on some pressure so you can feel some relief in your neck. And again, switching sides just a little bit and the opposite way. Taking a deep inhale through the nose, coming back to center, saying good morning to yourself, saying hello to your body and hello to the waking sun. We may be getting some rain, but we'll just see how the day goes. And I'm gonna take your uh, hand on your heart and simply ask yourself, what is it that I need today? What is it that my body is craving? And simply take a few breaths by listening to those questions. See what your body says. Maybe it's a pain in the body that starts to get more uh, dominant. Or perhaps it's a craving like to go surf or to read a book or to knit or perhaps to eat a certain food. So placing your hand on your heart, simply taking a deep inhale and exhale, release the body. Inhale and exhale. One more time, just listening in to what your body is craving, to what is it that you really need. Then you're gonna scoot to a seated position, bringing your um, hands to your ankles or as far as you can go without overstraining yourself. Breathing in through the nose and releasing as you hit the knees. And again, in and out, in and out. If you're also on the sand, maybe you want to wiggle your toes to get some sand off your feet or simply just wiggle them out so that way they feel a stretch. And then try to reach a little bit deeper and release. Deeper and release. Acknowledging how your legs feel. Acknowledging how your thighs feel. Acknowledging how your calves. Are they tight? Are they loose? Is this pose easy for you or is it hard? Then you're gonna bring your left leg up. You're gonna twist over gently to the ocean. Acknowledging the first spinal twist of how the body feels. Then gently switching sides, bringing the right over and switching out. In through the nose and out through the mouth. In through the nose and out through the mouth. Let's come back to center, grabbing those ankles, saying good morning to your ankles. You can give them a bit of a massage, just digging your thumbs into them and coming up more to your kneecaps and again, coming more down and up. And again, let's do that twist over to the ocean, saying hello to the waves. And switch sides back to me back to the front side switch to the center and again saying hello to the ankles and the knees ankles and knees reaching here holding take a deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth starting to get a little bit of a drizzle. So let's stand on up to our forward fold, rocking our legs side to side here, in and out, in and out. 
and let's twist over to the left side and then twist over to the right side and again to the left and to the right coming all the way up reaching high elongating the body and come on back down to your toes let's pedal them out again should be feeling it in that buttock in your quads back of your quads your calves your ankles and then simply let your head hang a little bit more grab the back of your ankles the back of your shins allowing the blood to flow into your face acknowledging how this makes you feel and remember you can bend your knees as you can see not even I can have a full length on my legs I need that bent because I'm not that flexible then bring your left leg to the back looking up placing it down to the mat bringing your hands to your knees and simply lifting up You're gonna lift up and feel the stretch in your left hip opening yourself up bringing your shoulders back finding your balance tightening your core and when you feel ready lift up even further clasps your hands together and lean a little bit back then you're going to lean to the right just slightly and then lean to the left very gently back to center lean back come back to your knee try to elongate a little bit more breathe into the space where you feel the tightness in through the nose and out through the mouth and then lean yourself forward lifting the back leg coming into your plank and then just switching sides bringing the right leg back coming up just up to your knee elongating through the spine looking up shoulders are back feeling the stretch right here in our hip and our upper quad in through the nose and out through the mouth and if you feel yourself wiggling simply maybe tuck your toes behind or tuck them out see which one feels better for your stability I prefer to have my toes tucked I tend to feel more of the stretch this way and again lift up tightening your belly lifting your hands up to the sky leaning back to the side to the left lean lean over again and try to not make your upper body move it might be easy to move in that direction but try to keep your hips centered only the upper body is moving side to side and then back out reach out to the sky and again you're going to lean forward breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth in through the nose and out through the mouth back to your plank this time you're going to push up your way down lift up into a cobra tucking the toes into your down dog pedal out your feet now that your hips feel more awake your legs are more awake you can simply enjoy the pose and ask yourself how does my body feel right now what does it need more of where do I feel most sore today in through the nose and out through the mouth in through the nose and out through the mouth and bring your right leg up to the sky and then you're going to bring it out to the outside of your mat so if you're in the sand your feet are going to be in the sand then you're going to bring your right leg just up into another twist looking up to the sky saying hello to the clouds hello to the passing little mist that I'm having 
and then back to the plank, do the chaturanga, lifting up, tucking under, taking a breath, then repeating again, lifting the left leg up to the sky, bringing it out to the outside of your mat, taking the left hand and opening up to the ocean. Breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. In through the nose and out through the mouth. Once again, this is another great hip opener. It's a hip stretch. You should be feeling it in the right side. In through the nose and out through the mouth. And back to center, back to your plank, lifting up. And back down to the forward, downward dog. In through the nose and out through the mouth. Pedaling out through your feet. Shifting your weight forward again. Coming down and lifting up. Into your child's pose. Resting here just momentarily. Listening to the sound of the waves, the sound of your surroundings. What do you hear? What do you smell? Maybe you're chewing gum. How does your gum taste like? Try to bring in all of your senses right now. But bringing awareness back to the body as you're tuning into the senses. Making sure that your fingers are extending out in this pose so that you feel the stretch in your armpits. And lean forward and you're gonna shift over to some circles. And we're gonna come up to the down dog once again, pedaling out your feet and then come to a forward fold bringing those hands to your ankles again and if you want you can pedal it out yourself here in through the nose and out through the mouth in through the nose and out through the mouth and clasp your hands and bring them over your head or as far as they can go and twist again to me and to the opposite side just focusing on our minor rotations here. And then you're going to come down and sit cross-legged. But what you're going to do in your cross leg is take your left leg straight out in front and then crossing the right leg in front. We're going to work on some hip openers. So if this is too much for you, maybe you want to place something on the back of your butt just to give yourself some elevation. And what we're going to do now is just twist over to the right side. Just getting used to the pose, getting used to the movement. And then switch sides. And again, twist over. And you're going to bring your hands out in front and just try to lean as far as you can. You may just go through halfway. Maybe you can place your head on your knee or just simply just feel, see how you feel as you keep shifting a little bit more down. And the key to this is on your exhale is then to move a little bit forward. So take an inhale and exhale, release down. Inhale, tuck the belly in and exhale, release the body out. Just a small little movement hanging in there. Just a couple more seconds. Focus on the breath, focus on the breathing. And then you're gonna unwind yourself, shake out the legs a little bit, and then switch sides, crossing the left over the right. And again, you're gonna twist over to the left side this time first. And then out to the left. And switch. 
And then last one. And then let's bring our weight more forward, keeping our chest high, our heart open, placing your hands right in front of you. Take an inhale and exhale, shift forward. Notice if this side is more tight or is it more open? Mine are about the same. Inhale and exhale, release down. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Good job. Come on out. Bring the legs out in front, shake it out, and then bring them out into a straddle position. Try to get your ankles on each corner of the mat. And then what you're going to do is going to take your hands out, push them out in front to me like you're giving me a high five, and then reach over to the left side. If you would like a deeper stretch, you can take your arm up over the head, keeping the chest high and leaning over. Noticing how the body feels and simply switch sides. Warming up the obliques and switch. Warming up your inner thighs and switch. Waking them up for a new day. And back to center, give me those high fives. Good. And then let's come on down to your mat. Bringing your legs to your knees, giving them a great big hug, thanking them for being present, thanking them for being. And then bring your legs up to the sky and simply just wiggle your out, self out. And when you're ready, bring your legs out into a happy baby pose. Flexing our feet, widening them out. You can rock side to side. Good, and then gently bring them down, stretching yourself out, elongating through the spine. And then you're gonna take the right leg, bring it in, pointing the toe and you're just gonna twist over to the ocean, bringing your arms out to a T, simply acknowledging another spinal twist. How does your body feel? How do you feel? Notice any sounds around you. I have an echo of birds in the distance. Some cars are passing, but the birds are becoming more dominant right now. Breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. And then come on out, back to center, switch sides. back to the T, allowing the shoulders to relax, allowing your body to just fall to the side. Breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. In through the nose and out through the mouth. Very good. And then back to center. And extending the legs out into a Savasana pose. Taking as many breaths as you need here, just to relax. Thinking the body, thinking the elements, especially thinking yourself for being with me in this moment. can wiggle your toes, 
wiggle your hands and when you're ready you can come on up and thank you for joining with me feel free to subscribe and like this channel for more